one application of Gauss's law is for finding the net charge on the inner surface of a conductor. For example, we have a point charge negative Q at the center of a conducting spherical shell. The shell has a net charge of positive 3Q. Since net charges can only reside on the surface of a conductor, the net charges on the shell can only be on its inner and outer surfaces. What are the net charges, if any, on the inner surface and on the outer surface of the conducting shell? First, let's review a little bit about a conductor in static situation. Any net charge can only be found on the surface of the conductor. And the electric field is zero everywhere inside the conductor. Any electric field outside the conductor must be perpendicular to the surface immediately outside the surface. And the electric potential is the same everywhere throughout the conductor. We know the electric field is zero everywhere inside this conducting shell. So we can make a Gaussian surface that is completely inside this conductor. Now let's find the flux through this Gaussian surface. Since everywhere on this Gaussian surface, the electric field is zero, we're integrating zero over the entire Gaussian surface. Adding up zeros will give us zero. Since zero equals to Q enclosed over epsilon naught, that means the Q enclosed must also be zero. The net charge enclosed by the Gaussian surface includes the point charge at the center, negative Q, and the charges on the inner surface. So Q enclosed equals to zero equals to negative Q plus the charge on the inner surface. So the charge on the inner surface must equal to positive Q. So these two can add up to be zero. As for the net charge on the outer surface of the shell, we need to use charge conservation. We know that the net charge on the conducting shell is positive 3Q. And these charges can only be on the inner surface and the outer surface. Since Q inner is positive 1Q, Q outer must be positive 2Q. So for this kind of problem, we use Gauss's law and make a Gaussian surface that is completely inside the conductor to find the net charge on the inner surface. And we use charge conservation to find the rest of the net charge that is on the outer surface. For the charge on the inner surface, we can also use electric field lines to find the charges on the inner surface.